We're ready, and this time we are in the beautiful sunny Cotswolds. morning and welcome to another day in the beautiful Cotswolds. We had a nice sleep last night. It's about seven in the morning now and the uh, sun's just coming up and we're gonna have some breakfast when we get to the Royal Wright Stones this morning. They're not very far from where we are right now so we're gonna pack up and head towards there have breakfast and then go and see some of these stones so um, it should be quite nice but this view is amazing especially with the sunrise this morning. So we just arrived at the Royal Wright Stones and now we're having some breakfast! Yes! Because I'm starving. He's <laughs> so excited about breakfast. I know I am. I'm really hungry. We didn't have to drive very far though, did we? No. It's a lovely day out there. Breakfast and then we're going to go and have a look at these Royal Wright Stones. Yeah. Hopefully we don't bump into the witch. the roll right stones and apparently the legend is that you can't count them three times in a row and get the same amount so maybe we'll try that we never succeeded in counting all the stones so we gave up and carried on Kingstone, which is uh, as the story goes, the witch turned um, the king and his army into stone, and this is where he got to up the hill, which turned him into stone. I guess it kind of does look a bit like a person. Pretty cool, though. But they found a burial site near here as well years ago, and I think I just read that these were one of the first monuments in Britain to actually be protected, and it's a criminal offence to damage them or climb on them, so it's quite fascinating. Right? The view from up here is absolutely incredible as well. Yes. It's amazing up here. But the uh, locals used to, what do they do? Chip bits off this? Apparently, not the locals, but I think people who came to visit here would chip small bits of the stone away to take as like good luck charms or mementos. Oh, ah, right. And it's made it have like a head shape. So it actually looks like a person. Yeah. That's so funny. But you can't do that now, you'll be very, very much in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got back from the Royal Wright Stones, they were amazing to look at. And now we're using this book, The Wild Guide. These are absolutely brilliant if you can pick up a copy of different places around the country. Yeah, we've got loads of them now. We've got one for to... Cornwall and we've got one that we got for Christmas for the lakes, which we really cannot wait to use. But we found some ruins in here. One of them is called Minister Lovell on the River Wind, Windrush. Windrush. And it's a romantic ruin beside the River Windrush built in the 15th century. That so we're going to go and check that out, aren't we? Yeah, look at that. And there's also another little church called St. Oswald's Church in Windford, which is a small isolated church set amid arable fields. And apparently you can go inside and there's some 14th century paintings. So we're going to have a look to see if we can do that. So we have arrived at the uh, ruins now. It's a little car park just in the little village here. Well, it's really hard to get here. Though. The roads are tiny. It uh, looks worth it. We saw the ruins on the road. It looks really nice. I'm just going to have a quick cup of tea and then we're going to walk down this little country lane and get there. <laughs> this 
made some, well Sarah's made some really nice sandwiches, my favourite. Smoked ham mayonnaise and a bit of stuff from our allotment. Yeah, we have a cup of tea and then we're going to go and take our books, have a look around here and enjoy this amazing sunshine because it literally feels like summer. It's so warm at the moment. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to enjoy this and get going. Okay, so we're just walking down the path now to get to the Minister Lovell, I think it's called his house. I think he was once one of the richest men in England. Well, I'm not too sure on the history there, but I'll have to look up on that. But it looks okay. nice down here, doesn't it? That has made him the richest man in I'm going to say he was the richest man in England at one point. That's why there's a giant ruin here still. To be fair, this is such a beautiful place. It is you really nice. In so many other ways, even if you weren't in many. It's really nice here. I think we just got to walk down here now. Well, I'm assuming it's at the end. We'll find out in a minute. It's owned by uh, English Heritage. It's, it was completely free. The car park up there is free, and we've just walked in. It's amazing. It's just an amazing bit of history. Apparently, the guy who owned this place owned 29 other properties around England. So yeah, maybe he was the richest man, but <laughs> not bad, eh? But this is all that's left now. Just this ruin, and the doves have taken over, and nature has taken back most of it as well. It's incredible. And there's a. Uh, the river Windrush, I think, just running next to it as well, which in the summer you're allowed to swim in, so I'm going to come back here. So we decided because the weather is amazing at the moment, we want to catch as much of the sun as we can. So we're going to sit in front of the ruin, next to the river, read our books and chill out for a little bit. Sarah's just getting our books out now. Perfect, it's like a summer's day today. So we just got back from the uh, ruin. That was a really cool place, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed that place. It's beautiful. And uh, I think we're going to drive to Bourne on the Water now, because tomorrow we're going to be doing a walk from Bourne on the Water to some of the other villages. So might go up there <coughs> and uh, have a look around Bourne on the Water, and then we find a sleep spot near there, I think. Yeah. It looks um, really pretty, the walk tomorrow. It does look really pretty. If it's like this as well, tomorrow in this weather, we're in for a real treat. So let's hit the road and go to Bourne on the Water now. So we have just arrived and born on the water. It's the place we'll be coming tomorrow when we do a big walk. But we won't have much time to stop, I'm sure, because the walk's five hours long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we just got some dinner and freshened ourselves up and now we're about to go and walk around it. was really cool they make their own candles there as well as selling stock candles but you can see them being made at the back of the shop and the guy that was running it was really nice definitely a place to go as well if you need to stock up on incense Just had a walk around Borton on the water. On the way back to the van, Sarah's found some really cute little sheep that she's trying to get to come over. <laughs> hey. 
Favorite animal, Sarah? Lambs and sheep. Sheep. Definitely sheep. We don't eat you. <laughs> that was a lovely little jaunt around bottom of the water, wasn't it, Sarah? It really In the evening sunlight. Um, we're going to go and find somewhere to park now. I think we found a nice lay-by on the way here, so we're going to go and see if we can fit into that <laughs> and have some pea soup and some nice bread. Yeah. We found our second spot for the night, uh, just outside Bourne on the Water, actually. Next to a busy road behind us, but it's a bit quieter, and we've tucked in just into a little lay-by down the side. It's nice, actually. We've got a nice little view of a pond as well out the window, so it should be nice here. I don't think we'll get bothered, so i sure we'll have a nice night. Refilling the water dime. Look at that. When I do it, I spill it everywhere. That soup, solid. <laughs> what on earth? Oh, I, I might need a fork. <laughs> it looks like cat food. <laughs> oh, that soup looks good. I mean, it's, it's not the best colour right now, but I'm sure it's tasty. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. It's our little feast for tonight. Nice pea soup and nice thick chunky bread. Yeah. Oh, this is going to go down really well. Mm. That was a pretty cool day. Seeing that ruin, how cool was that? That's that was like amazing. some sort of like mystical middle of nowhere ruin. It was so cool. <laughs> and the weather was amazing. It was like being summer. It was like summertime. <laughs> I'm but very tired. That's why he's talking nonsense. I'm really tired. So um, I think we're just going to wash up. Because you can't game. see, but down here. Da, 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 the rest. Oh, we've been playing Connect 4 and Adam yeah, Worm. Yeah, we're playing Connect 4 a bit. But I felt bad about it, so I put my coin in in the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, then we're going to wash up, have a cup of tea, we'll probably go to sleep, read our books, and I want to get up early tomorrow, don't we? Yeah, I just want to get moving before the yeah. traffic. That's one thing we do, isn't it? Try and move. Yeah, we try and beat the traffic, the work traffic in the morning, and we've got to find somewhere to park that's free because um, we're stingy. <laughs> yeah, want to However, somewhere. as stingy as Adam is oh, with parking, <laughs> earlier he paid for parking and it was actually free. Yeah, so it was free after 3 o'clock and I still put in uh, the money and paid for a ticket. And Sarah went, oh, it's free. Like, oh, it's too late, I already had the ticket. <laughs> so tomorrow we can find somewhere free to park so we can start the walk and <laughs> we go from there. Now we spent a lot of change, we definitely have yeah. to find somewhere free. But that was a really fun day today. So I think it's going to be a good night for now and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye, Bye. everybody.